Okay, of course, that's the Trayvon Martin case. We've been talking a lot about that, a tragedy. Is this about racism? Of course. <laughs> I can't believe we're even asking that question. Yeah. Uh, how could it not be? Uh, if the positions were reversed, if it was a, a white kid who was shot by a black guy, you, th you think we'd be in this what if it was situation? Two, what if it, I, I thought about this last night. What if it was two black men? Probably wouldn't have heard about it. Which, is, to me, I think you're right. That to me, that strikes deeper in some weird way, right? Because it, because it's 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 uncovering this these subtle aspects of racism. It's raising consciousness that we need to do, right? Well, it, the the new racism is denying racism. That's that's. But, you know, I, I was the, in that camp. I got to tell you, I think I was in that camp, and I, I spent my week apologizing to all my Afro American friends because when they would complain, I go, "Oh, come on, it's not it's not that bad. It can't be." Just sort of denying it, denying that. It, and now I see something like this, I go, "Oh my God, I, I I'm sorry, I didn't know." The 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 in, the intricacies of the story are apparently more complex than we all realize. But still, he walks free. And that is what is on everyone's mind in America. I yeah. mean, and I do think that the pressure is going to become unbearable even on that police department which you know did not have a great record before this and of course the law is what has to change i mean that i think is what is is really getting people upset is that even if we arrest this guy uh... there's there's no guarantee that florida is going to change this basically anyone who scares you you can shoot law which is insane and uh, this is something we're going to talk about on my show this week that the idea that this is what happens in America when one political party, in this case the Democrats, completely rolls over on an issue, in this case gun control. Somewhere along the way, about 10 or 12 years ago, certainly after Al Gore lost the election and lost his home state of Tennessee and a number of swing states because he was a little too hard on, on the NRA. He only voted with them 75% of the time. Uh, the Democrats got it in their head that this gun control was a loser issue for them and they could never stand up as they should. So what you have here is the NRA getting absolutely everything they want. They got so much of what they want that they had to start inventing stuff that didn't exist. Like, the, that's how we got this stand your ground law. They invented a scenario where what if liberals try to take away our right to shoot someone who comes in our home? Well, we're going to have to take it one step farther. You're going to have to have that right when you're actually on the street, which is insane. And that's where we have gotten to, a place of insanity, because the Democrats rolled over on gun control. Is, is